Lola? Green card Clorox na yung mga brush. Malimpi ako sa RSR. Okay. So today, we're going to show you how to start your very young banana queue business. So if you ever find yourself broke, and you got a whole bunch of bananas, and they got to be a specific type of banana, you could start a banana queue business and make enough money to, say, buy some beer at the end of the day and lie on the beach and enjoy life. Okay. So, these bananas are called Saba Bananas. So, Saba, this is the type of banana that you need to make banana cube. And as you can see, they're very nice and ripe. So, I'm here with a Filipino cuisine expert, <laughs> uh, Chef BJ. Hi, good morning. And uh, he's currently using the coconut yeah. casings to uh, to start his charcoal because we're gonna need some some hot heat to make banana cue. Oh wow. Is the charcoal already in there? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nothing like a good flame, though. I, mean, I always, I always enjoy a fire. All right. So, next thing we do is we remove the bananas from the peels. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I got a bunch of bananas to uh, de peel. Um, I don't want them to look like that when we're done. So then I'll be back with the next step after I de peel the bananas. So the uh, Saba bananas that look like this are really, really easy to peel and, and open. And uh, I've got a bunch done. Uh, but when they're black like this, the only thing you got to wa watch out for is the, the overripe peel section. Kind of starts eating into the banana a little bit. So you're going to have to probably uh, cut that bit off. Um, but they're still good for making um, banana cube. It's just, you don't want the, uh, it creates like a hard section in there. You want to get rid of any of the hard or black section out of your food. So I'll show what that looks like. All right, so when you get around to the dark part of the peel, you just kind of want to pull as much of that off as you can. If you're lucky, it'll come off with the peel. Um, if you don't quite get it all, like I didn't quite get it all here, just come and trim that off because it's not going to be soft. It's going to be hard, so you don't want to eat that. I mean, you probably could. It probably won't hurt you. It's just if you want the best tasting product, just trim that bit off. So all the bananas have been de-peeled and now we're moving on to 
the creation of the delicious banana cube. So we have here, can I just put it down here? Or up here? Probably down there. Up there? Yeah. Okay. So we have here, um, what was that? Sugar. Cane sugar. Yeah. Um, and banana cute. And we've got, what kind of oil is that? I don't know. Canola oil. Canola or coconut? Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Yeah. It's probably coconut oil. So we got cane sugar, coconut oil, and our Saba bananas. And we are going to create the most delicious dessert which I call Banana Q and everyone calls Banana Q and I don't know what the Q stands for but I imagine maybe for cute, you know, cute bananas. Or for barbecue, they stick. Oh, because it's a barbecue stick. Okay, so it's bar it's, it's literally barbecued yeah. banana. bananas. Okay, cool. I never knew what that was for. <laughs> so it's Banana Q instead of barbecue. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's cute. Well, I learned something today. Thanks, Chef BJ. Okay, so how do we start this? We need to put the banana in the oil. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll film. You can go ahead and do it. Five minutes. Need to put the ban the sugar. So you cook it for approximately five minutes, yeah. and then and then you add sugar. So yes. do you do you take it out and dip it in the sugar? No, we need to. Or, or you oh you sprinkle the yeah. sugar on top of it. So then do you when you sprinkle it do you sprinkle one side flip and sprinkle the other side? Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna let this cook, and then we'll, when it's time to put the sugar on, we'll be back. Okay, we, so we've just been uh, cooking for a couple of minutes now, but when you see the uh, the brown yeah. on it, um, so once once we get that nice color of brown on the banana cues, that's when we're going to be putting the sugar on. So uh, if if you're you know timing it is not it's not an exact science with stuff like this. It's it's more of a visual science. You know when it when it looks brown, that's when it's uh, time to apply the sugar. Okay, so we're going to start putting some uh, sugar on the banana cube. Oh, oh yum, yum. So this has been my favorite treat every time I, I come to the Philippines. And uh, the first time I came here, I was... Uh, I'd be like sitting in the house, right? Uh, we had a little house in uh, FVR at the time, and uh, somebody would go by on the street and they'd be like, banana queue, banana queue, and I had no idea what they were talking about, but after they walked by, I'd be like, oh, that smells really good, what is that? So then my wife would send somebody running down the street to uh, catch up with the vendor and bring back the banana queue, and, and this, this happened to me several times uh, because I didn't really have an ear for the language back then. So, uh, you know, it will always be after the fact. <laughs> so anyways, we just uh, rolled those over and added some more sugar to it. It's starting to look pretty yummy. So after uh, after all the banana cue uh, is finished, I'm, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how, to, how to go out and sell banana cue. So uh, we'll, we'll continue cooking, and then uh, if there's another step, we'll, we'll add that. I'm sure there's another step at some point. Do we have sticks? I, or we don't have sticks? Uh, I try to ask oh. Lola. Oh, okay. We'll find out if we have sticks. Be right back. So here's a little tip, uh, is when you, um, you see he's stirring, uh, he's kind of stirring around the bottom with the banana cube. So what happens is uh, some of the sugar melts and then sticks to the bottom of the pan. 
Uh, so what you do is you wipe the banana cue and you pick up that sugar from off the bottom of the pan because of course you don't want to waste delicious yeah. sugar. <laughs> so it, it's at this point it's caramelized right and it sticks pretty well. So once they're uh, cooked enough and you've uh, picked up as much as the caramelized sugar from the bottom of the pan as you can, uh, you pull them out and let them cool. Yeah. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my goodness. Freshly cooked banana cube. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, that's not. Uh, please do not burn yourself with hot oil. Yeah. So you want to just pull it out and put it on there maybe? Yeah. Wait. We're, we're going to go change utensils now. But yeah, if, if you've never had banana queue, you should try it. You can get Saba bananas frozen uh, in Canada. And I see no reason why this wouldn't work uh, with starting with frozen bananas. Probably is not going to be as yummy as these ones are today, but it's, you know, probably the best you can do. Uh, another another pro tip when you're frying: never put wet utensils into yeah. hot oil. <laughs> right, Chef BJ? Yes. Yes. Safety first. Safety first. Delicious banana cue second. Don't we don't want anyone getting hurt doing this? This is about having fun and making you know people happy. <laughs> okay, so every time I've uh, bought banana cues, um, there's always been like, a, oh, it's like a barbecue stick uh, up the middle of them, um, and they'll have three uh, banana cue per stick, and they sell each stick between 10 and 15 pesos. Um, now I imagine, you know, their only real expense is, is for some oil and for some uh, some uh, cane sugar the bananas they've probably gone and pulled them off of a tree themselves or or they have you know a banana plantation where where they have a bunch of these bananas so the people that are going around selling it door to door somehow have access to the bananas for for next to nothing or free basically but even if you were to buy them um, I think at 10 to 15 pesos uh, per stick, you could probably show uh, a modest profit and it would be a good way, uh, for example, if you didn't want to eat bananas all day long, you could have something else. <laughs> Maybe you could sell some banana queue and then you could uh, buy a fish from a fisherman and you could have fish and rice that night instead of eating bananas all yeah. the time. So it's a... Uh, uh, it, it's a it's a good way to uh, to make some money and I told my wife you know when I'm old and gray you know we're gonna live here and and just for fun I'm gonna cook banana cue and go around the neighborhood and sell them to the kids but I'll use little sticks I'll put one banana cue on it and I'll sell it for like a peso each because it's not about the money it's just about making kids smile for me um, and she said, oh, but then they will be upset with you because there's other people that sell it. And I said, I've been here for a week and I, nobody's come around trying to sell us banana cues. So I don't think they're going to care that much. They're kind of like <laughs> far away. They're like a couple couple of neighborhoods yeah, away and they don't come here. So, so I, I think I'm safe on that one. I don't think they're going to be upset. But who knows? <laughs> maybe the maybe the legend of the of the one peso banana queue will spread and I'll become famous. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll have to raise my prices. Anyways, look at that. The second batch is almost done. Well, we're just about done cooking the banana queue. We got another another batch to go after this and then. I will show you how to sell banana queue. I will become a banana queue salesperson yeah. to complete the business plan on how to make money by making and selling banana queues.
Okay, okay. So the banana queue is is all all cooked now, and uh, I'm just waiting on a on a fresh banana leaf, um, and then we're gonna load up on my tray, and I'm gonna go out and uh, sell banana queue. Oh, here's my banana leaf, and we're gonna load up the tray. And I'll go see if I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna walk in front of our house only. Okay. Just for the video. What if someone bought it? I will tell them it's for video demonstration purposes only. For vlog purposes only. <laughs> we're sticking yeah. and then some on the other side and we're good do like four and four I will buy three pieces I will buy okay. three pieces also banana This is how this is how we do it in the Pabilipo. Pabilipo. Would you like some freshly cooked banana cube? Thank you. Pabilipo. Pabilipo. Ako din po. Ako, uh, may accent. My first money I earned from selling banana cues. Three pesos. How much? Let's eat. One peso. Oh, so I. I need to go. Very hot. Oh, is it too hot? Tinidor, tinidor. Tinidor ko. Ah, dyan pala. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Is there like a free vis for the Lola? Of course. Oh, Lola, free ko no free. Of course, because oh. we used her kitchen to cook it. <laughs> we we used her her coconut charcoal to cook it. <laughs> Can I have free one too? Yes. Oh, uh, RJ wrote that free because you already made money. Yes, uh, I already I already made money. <laughs> Antay sa magmapamalengke kita ha. Ano na ako?